Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little video that has probably been requested more than most things, which is the Collaborative Warfare mod list. Yes, all the mods we use to make Collaborative Warfare happen. Um, they'll just probably be like a full list on screen right now, all the links in the description, and I'm just going to talk through them and explain them. So, the first one is BD Armory, the mod that adds all the guns and missiles and the ability to fight the little things that make um, like AI turrets work and AI planes. So yeah, that's obviously quite a big one. We also use Vanguard parachutes, um, which is like the ejector parachutes, those little yellow boxes on top of a lot of the planes. If you hit um, abort, your Kerbal is thrown out and won't be killed, hopefully, unless you don't pull the parachute. Um, Curb Inside is the next one, which allows us to have multiple bases. That literally adds all of the bases on Kerbin. Uh, it's freaking awesome and makes the whole thing possible. Uh, texture Replacer, which um, is used to change some of the what the Kerbals look like. And leading into that, we have Diverse Kerbal Heads, which actually provide the textures for Texture Replacer to make them look different. So when you look at our Kerbals, they don't look like normal Kerbals. They look slightly different. They have different colored skin and hair and lots of cool things. So, yeah. Um, tweak scale, which is very useful. It allows you literally to just change the size of any any part, basically, except some mods, which it isn't included with. Um, but a surprising amount of mods actually do have support from tweak scale. It allows us to build really big boats. You could scale up planes, scale down planes, um, just tweak little parts uh, so you can have lots of little engines rather than one big one or something like that. It's very useful. Um, environmental visual enhancements, which I personally don't use because of RAM issues, but you'll notice in the other people's videos there are clouds. That is environmental visual enhancements. Quite RAM heavy, so as I've said I don't use it, but it does make it look very nice. Uh, we use also Burn Together, which you probably haven't seen a huge amount of yet, um, but that allows you to fly multiple planes at the same time. Uh, it just mimics actions, so you can fly in formation. And then a nice thing to do with that is also set up the BD Armory AI so that you can fly over somewhere, let them break off, and do their own thing. That's a really good mod. Um, I'm not sure if it's been fully updated, but I'm pretty sure it still works with 1.04. Uh, improved Chase Cam, a little mod which basically means that uh, your the chase cam is slightly better. It follows you better. It's more like you'd get in a plane in a game where you fly planes like Grand Theft Auto, where it kind of has a slight lag and just kind of follows the plane in a nice smooth manner. It means flying is just much nicer, which I should probably use more. And we also use infernal robotics when you often see moving parts on people's craft. That is infernal robotics doing all the work. Um, you can build crazy things. You can build war walkers and legs and just things that go up and down and rotate wings around and stuff. Uh, lots of cool stuff there. Um, we use Kerbal Foundries. Kerbal Foundries is a great one. It provides a lot of really great wheels, which I use on a lot of my stuff, um, that don't tip that easily. And there's some really massive ones in there and some smaller ones and things that just make wheels a lot easier. Also, it adds... Um, the hover things, the, the hover pods, you may have seen that in some of my extra videos where I've built uh, big boats that hover and just can move around and it does it in a really nice way. Uh, I know Penguin uses it, um, Twitchy always uses it for attack ground craft, they're just really, really awesome things. Um, we've recently implemented uh, B B9 Aerospace, which has been updated, it's kind of hard to find so I will obviously link that along with everything else. Um, B9 Aerospace is just pretty cool. It provides a lot of parts. It's very RAM heavy. Um, it really has pushed uh, collaborative warfare kind of over the edge of reasonable stuff without taking serious actions to make the game not crash. Uh, but it is good. It adds a lot of uh, quite a few good uh, good wings. A lot of um, uh, a lot of cool engines. Uh, wheels and stuff. You probably know what B9 Aerospace is by now. And we've also recently added Quiz Tech, which adds a bunch of awesome stuff. It adds some kind of ridiculously efficient stuff, but it's surprisingly balanced. Uh, there's lots of cool things for VTOLs, big fan, big like lifter fans, um, adds a bunch of engines, as I said, a lot of cool cockpits for making really cool looking fighters, um, and a, just like a bunch of stuff. I, you check that one out, it's pretty cool. And we've also recently added flag decals, which are actual parts you put on anywhere on your craft, and it can add a flag. And they aren't massless, so I'm not going to use them, because I'm obviously not going to surrender mass to look cool. But it is cool, you can cover your whole thing in just awesome looking flags. Uh, and it's really easy, it's just like a surface attached part. It's And they come in a range of sizes, so they all look really good. Um, active texture management, something I've been using for a while. Just a mod that 
Um, doesn't add anything to the game, it just uh, ma man <clears throat> manages textures and allows things to run at a lower la RAM level. When you first use it, it'll basically take ages to load because it'll um, like load all up, all up, uh, load up all the textures and manage them, and that'll take ages, but it's much quicker after that, so don't worry too much. And we also use Kerbal Aircraft Expansion, which just adds a bunch of cool parts, uh, lots of plane parts, you probably see them all the time, a bunch of helicopter stuff, and Fire Spitter, which is... Um, Kerbal Aircraft Expansion is based on Fire Spitter. Uh, Fire Spitter just expands out a bunch more, adds um, like helicopter parts, just loads of plane parts. It's really cool. Propeller engines, that sort of stuff. And I believe that is all of them. I'm almost 100% sure there may be some very tiny ones I may have forgotten because there are so many, but I'm, yeah. I am almost 100% sure that is all of them. But now you're probably thinking, Peter, that is a hell of a lot of mods. The game will probably crash. It might not even start. How will I do this? Well, there are a few things you can do. You can, of course, use active texture management, as I mentioned earlier, which will reduce your RAM load a little, but probably not enough to actually get it to run normally. So, you can either... Well, there's two things you can do. You can either run it in OpenGL mode, uh, which reduces the amount of RAM, and is very good if you don't have a lot of RAM on your system anyway. Um, you probably, you might not know what that is, but there is a video I've done on it, it will be linked at the end of this video, on my kind of end plate thing, so just stay till the end, you'll see the, the link to the video, and it's very simple, and it just reduces the amount of RAM, however, that can, um, it can, it can cause frame rate drops, basically, uh, and I get that a lot, so, there is another thing you can do, you can use the 64-bit workaround, this doesn't reduce the amount of RAM it uses, it just means you can use all of your RAM, now, if you've only got 4 gigs of RAM right now, that won't really help, because you, you just don't, don't have enough RAM, and I'd suggest OpenGL, um, but if you have more RAM, uh, you just use this, and it opens it up, it opens up all of your RAM, it can be a little more unstable, um, and, a little problematic, and I'm gonna just let you Google it because there's some distribution-y things because it's actually a different KSP EXE, so there's a lot of problems actually distributing to that. I could probably link to it, but I'm just gonna be safe and let you Google 64-bit thing. And yeah, so that will let you run all the mods very nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, Again, the OpenGL thing will be at the end of the video, and all the mod links will be in the description. But yeah, I will see you next time.